Hello, hello, and welcome to a Tree of Savior in 2023. We just had a fresh start by a different company, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna be checking it out. We'll see if my ping is playable on the server. I think the servers are hosted in Canada, so I should have about 150 ping here. I actually really like this game. It's quite good. I really love the art style on this. So let's get right into it. Here we are in the lodge. We gotta create our character. So we got to pick our class. We have five archetypes, but I think we're gonna go play the archer again. That's what I played back in the day. We got a couple hair options, not too much. Shows you the skills and you're good to go. We're getting a bunch of items already. Now, classic Asian games. You gotta click a bunch of things before you can even start playing. Okay, we got some skills we gotta put. I think uh, this one is pretty nice. Let's put a one level on that one. Pretty sure we also got some gear to put on, so... Our weapon selection box. Gonna make me completely OP. Defeat the Kepas. Oh no. Anyway, yeah, let's see how the combat is. That's yeah, still pretty good. Level 6. Remember leveling being like insanely fast in this game. Like, enhance the weapon or the armor with the obtained guardian seal. Okay, so you can use these ones to enhance your things. Ah, here we go. So you can put the seals in and you can enhance your bow. Well, try it out. I don't think that was a thing before in the other version. I'm pretty sure. But we got it plus one. Nice. Oh, we got the boss fight. So they give you so much good gear that these boss fights are not gonna really do much. Yep. I'm not really a big fan of this, like how they give you so much gear that it makes the game completely easy. Like I would love to have some challenging kind of a uh, leveling. Maybe even like die while you level. I think that would be great. Oh, now we got one point to put in, so if I remember correctly, you want to go pretty high on dex on archer and strength, I think. Strength is more damage. So I think we might just go strength here. I gotta say, I'm still like absolutely loving the, uh, the art style of this game. It looks so good. Oh, we're getting to the main town now. I remember this town running like crap, like FPS wise in the um, the last time I played. It's like it's running really smooth now. Yeah, so we, you, they give you a seven day uh, trading post ticket, but this is like the uh, get more XP and everything. Looking at the channels, I mean, there, there seems to be quite a quite a bit of players here. It might be more alive than the, uh, the other version is. You don't need that many people to be more alive than that. I gotta say I really liked the archer uh, back in the day in the game. It's really fun. You get a little bird. I don't know if there's any other way to play the archer than with the bird, so maybe we figure it out. Oh, we got another statue here. So yeah, these are the fast traveling points. We're doing the first uh, episode. This is what they're calling. Yeah, the archer doesn't have a very good AoE in the beginning, sadly. Compared to like the mage. I definitely thought it would be more laggy, but I think it might be playable. I'm actually quite happy about that. So I think now we get to pick a class here. So this class actually requires you to do some kind of uh, achievement to get it. I think Mer Mergen is like the one that has a lot of AoE. So I think we're probably gonna go for that one for now. Or we could also go Falconer. But then we have to go get the, the bird. Let's pick Falconer. We're gonna go back town. See if we can buy the companion. There's actually a couple different companions you can buy. You can even buy this thingy. So if you play a hunter... I think uh, Hunter uses this as a pet. We're gonna name our Falcon as a Poop Fist. We got a little birdie called Poop Fist. Perfect. So the companion actually has like a level or two, so you have to level them up. And this companion is doing some damage. Okay, we got another. Now we get to finally kill this guy. Really? The bird just one shot the boss. Especially when the game is like a fresh start. I feel like it would be a better experience if it was without all the uh, boosted gear, but I guess the game is so old that it has a lot of the boosted items already in it. Now we actually have to go in inside the mines. A dungeons. Oh, here we go. We're inside the first dungeon. But this is like an open world dungeon though. So it's pretty cool. Some parts of the purifier are missing. Oh yeah, we gotta collect the parts for these. Boom, they're all dead. We are level 20. Oh, this is a boss. Well, should be an easy boss. Yep. The bird just one 
Shots everything. Oh, it's the, uh... This is uh, another boss, too. Wow, so hard. I mean, I, I do wish there was a little bit of a challenge, but... Oh, well. I guess that could come later. A little bit. They give you too good of an items, and then you just kind of roll through the game without any challenge. I do like the fact that you can teleport back. That's very convenient. I think running back and forth is like the worst thing ever. That should never be a thing in, a, in an MMOs. Through that. Just let me teleport back. The game also has some pretty damn good music. I like it a lot. Got some bangers in this game. I feel like they were so close to getting this game right. So much wasted potential. Oh! It's like a cool... It's a stone whale. Time to die. But I used my uh, bird skill already. There we go. Stone whale is dead. I think I need to enhance my uh, weapon again. We are plus 10 on the bow. This is definitely new. I don't remember doing that uh, when I was playing the last time. Ooh, we're level 30. I don't think green quests were worth doing. Uh, at least in the, um, the other version. So they're probably not worth doing here either. They just don't give a lot of XP. I actually remember people were crying about the bosses being too hard. That was a, that was a bit funny. Also got some skill points, so split it between strength and dex. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> mount. How would you mount the bird? I mean, I know you, you can like have the bird carry you. You can actually use that. Ah, there we go. But we can't use any skills, so it's a bit pointless, but it looks cool. We get to fly with our birdie. Like, stuff like this is just so cool, but games don't do cool shit anymore. Especially MMOs. It just adds so much uh, flavor. Even if it's useless, defeat a Throne Weaver. Okay. Looks like it's a boss time again. And we just one-shot it. A Demon Queen Gesty. Ooh. Who's she? She's a waifu. That the paladin was trying to capture, but was unsuccessful. So many levels. I think you... What's the max? Like 500 or something? You gave me like a, the weirdest uh, max level numbers. Like a 430 or something like that at one point. I don't even remember. I just remember it being weird. Oh, we're following this waifu here. Nice. A demon waifu. Huh? We gotta kill this one. Well, that was easy. Again. I actually really like grinding in this game. It, it's quite fun. Uh, once you get all your classes, and all your skills, grinding becomes pretty cool. It's a lot of to say we grinding, basically. Okay, we can finally unlock the next skill. Nice. That one is really good. Okay, we should go enhance our bow again, I think. Uh, we have a lot of coins. So let's... Uh, Oh, now the success rate is only 90. We're in, in the gambling now. Let's go. Okay, we got it to plus 16. That's good enough. Okay, let's try the new skill. Sonic Strike. It's really high damage. Really like it. It's like a boss killer. Oh no, we gotta kill this guy. They just keep blowing up. That's a cool looking class. I really like that one. If I was playing a swordman, I would pick that one for sure. I think next class we're gonna pick is the uh, the poison one. I'm gonna try something different on this character. Than I, what I did before. Beat mummy ghast. They have a lot of like bosses in this game. Constantly have to do bosses. If only they didn't die on one shot. That would be great. 
Yeah, I don't think we got to kill her uh, yet. But I'm pretty sure we get to do that later on. Okay, we gotta go do... Gonna go touch these pillars. Oh, what's going on? Did the die? He attacked me? Maybe she's not a friendly after all. Oh no! She's not a friendly waifu. Oh yeah, you have to be like... You have to avoid the, um, the demon waifu. Okay, so we gotta be careful with her. I'll get hit. No! I got it again. Damn it. One more. Then we're done here. And the quest is completed. So we have three points again to spend. So I think we're just gonna go max strength. So I think that... Yeah, that's my damage. So... When we can we pick the other uh, class? I don't remember. Be pretty soon though. Oh, I like her. She looks nice with the dual pistols. I think that would be the other class I would play in this game. Probably have to enhance our weapon a little bit. I think my other skills don't do that much damage anymore. Holy pawn. Okay. Gotta be a boss time. Ooh, yes. Gotta kill this mermaid. Oh, the mermaid is dead. Let's see, do we have enough coins to enhance our uh, weapon? We have 525. Okay, so we can we can put more into this weapon, I think. So let's go. I wonder when it starts failing. There's like a, some kind of pity system here. So if you fail, it gives you more chances. Is it maxed out? I think so. I think we maxed out. Okay, now we're gonna get this chest piece. So yeah, it's like a pity system where you keep getting more chance if you fail. That's nice. I don't have a weapon on. That's why I'm dying. I can't use it. I can put a weapon because I'm in the combat. Well, that was close. Probably not the smartest idea to uh, enhance your things while you are out in the wild. Why is this quest level 36? And I'm level 60. Oh, it's a beast. I'm out leveling this stuff so hard. Well, as long as it gives me XP, it's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. I feel like the game is probably gonna be a pretty, pretty uh, smooth ride. Uh, till like, all the way to max max level. Not gonna be any any challenge here. Food and resin contains is empty. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. He already took all of it, so... I'm gonna wait for the, it to spawn. I like how some quests just finish themselves, like there's no need to do anything. <laughs> it just pops. Oh, I just noticed my weapon has like a cool glow. It's like a red glow. Oh, but I hit pretty hard too. I just need more skills. Boom! We're done! And now we can teleport this guy. Talk with the priest again. The obelisk's here. And we got a 121 level boss. Oh, it turns into a 49 level boss. <laughs> Makes sense. And it's dead. We still don't have any attribute points, by the way. I wonder if you have the scrolls. I need to check when I uh, go to the town if I have, uh, like, the attribute scrolls. Fishing spot notice board. Ooh. What's that? Any fish here? Oh, there's, like, a leaderboard. Well, fishing. I like that. I do like fishing. That's one of the professions I actually like in MMOs. Something I uh, always kind of max out. Fishing is always great fun. And it's kind of cool that... They tell in chat when someone completes a raid. Everyone's saying like GG's. I like that. Go, oh, go, go! Another boss time. Call him Menkia. He's gonna one shot. Yep. Oh, what do we need to do here? Collect useful bomb? Do we need to blow something up? I think so. This barrel looks suspicious. Get away from it. Oh no, it's gonna blow up. It's the small one, of course. Complete. We're gonna go do this one. I already have like a 73 level quest in luck too. That I can do. Which gives a... Uh, 140,000 XP. Insane. But let's do this one. Oh, here's gonna be my attribute bonds. So I can have these episode rewards already. Okay, that's nice. So there, we got some attribute points from that. Finally. So now we're gonna actually put... We got 20,000 attribute points here. So we can put these. I just really don't remember what was good. That sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, but some of these actually require you to um, have a certain level. I think we gotta go blow something up. Go little birdie, kill them. Thank you. 
Give her villagers. Disguised as a demon. Got them. So yeah, looks like we get attribute points from the uh, achievements. That's actually really nice. Good to know. Oh, I remember this one. Waifu is stuck here. We gotta help her. Oh, there's another boss here. It's like a massive wasp with the scythe. It's a cool design. I really like their uh, the designs for oh, the bosses in this one. They actually have some cool ones. There's even, even cooler ones later on. Identify equipment to view this. Item identification. Oh, right. You need a class to identify this. I think this was an item that you could use for that. Kind of magnifying class. So we could identify items. But you can also use... There's actually a class for that. I think it's in the archer. Yeah. So you can play this class, Appraiser. Which is basically... You can identify items. This is probably something I should play. Or at least level up. At some point. You need a quest to unlock it though. So... It's a boss time again. So many damn bosses. Oh. One shot. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Let's get you out, waifu. Oh, there's a sub-weapon you can use. Must equip the main weapon first. See if we can enhance these wings. Okay, we can. Let's see how far we can make it. Oh, we got it all the way to 20. I guess that's gonna give me quite a bit of uh, damage. Oh, there's like a whole message on the screen when someone, the, someone is able to finish a raid. That's pretty awesome. I don't remember that being a thing. The last time I played. Oh! Gaigalas. Oh, I didn't one-shot this one. Hey, look, we're getting there. No more uh, one-shotting. And we got another boss. Molik. Great. Yeah, I do feel like the questing is a bit too streamlined in this game. Not like the biggest fan of this kind of uh, questing. I do like that you have to kill a lot of bosses. I think that's pretty pretty cool. Oh wow, this one actually does damage. The first boss where I take some damage. Ooh, 79. Oh, triple scorpions. Let's go. I one shot them. I think so. Yep. Oh, now we also can uh, learn some new skills. Another skill for the Falcon. I think this one is pretty good too. We got a couple new skills now. Another uh, big AoE. This one has a lower cooldown. It's only 12 seconds. So that one is really good. Hey, we got it. Finally. Perfect. 140,000 XP from that. Insane. I think you can level these like really... These ones that are kind of small don't require that many points pretty good to level them up like this one 65 points oh i don't have the leap maybe i should have that actually oh wow we're getting so many levels crazy i do think the leveling is a bit slower than what it was in the um in the other version or maybe we just had a lot of boost there. That That's why it made leveling super quick. I kind of like this pacing, actually. Oh, we got some dude. That's right. Did I get the right answer? Oh, I did. Okay. Okay, now we're starting to get, like, insane amount of XP, I guess. And I love this Falcon class. It's just so good. Once you get the skills, so much AoE. Kills everything. We are level 100. We're not getting the uh, the second class yet, though. That's kind of inter interesting. Thought we would already have it, but wake up the sleeping boobah. Oh, to wake these guys up. There's just too many people on that channel. Good thing you can swap the channel. Hey, we got it. Then we kill them all. Oh, there's a purple drop here. We got a purple uh, purple weapon, I think. Now the bird actually use one of the uh, skills automatically. It's really nice. You, uh, you just have to have this on. Drains quite a bit of mana, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, I think now we're gonna have a boss. Yep. Dinoptic. It's a low level boss though. I'm like out leveling this pretty hard. Where's all the mobs? We're not getting any. Oh, there we go. Okay, five, four, three, two. We got it. Easy peasy. 
Okay, it was six. Six out of eight. Getting there. And we got it. It's super easy to miss the quest because you outlevel them so hard that... Oh, there we go. So now we got episode three done. So now we're doing episode four. We're gonna find a... Actually, we can go back to... Let's go back to town now. Now it's time. And we go clean up the inventory a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put all these gems. The storage. I don't know about these materials. Do we need them? Maybe? Can't remember. There. And the inventory is good now. Ooh, looks like we got this cute outfit. I love terms of service, I guess. That's what it says. I actually love this where people can set up shops and you can like buff your uh, weapons. Like, I think it's really cool. It just makes it feel like more like an MMO. We have to pour the magic sources into the jars. Oh, right. Place the pot in the middle. That should be enough. I think we're gonna have some kind of boss now. Oh, we're just gonna kill mobs. Okay. Now it's gonna be a boss time, I think. Yay! Which one is this? Wow, this one is actually like... Doing something. Oh! That was actually a pretty tanky boss. First one that was that was kind of a at least doing something. I think we got episode four done. Yep. Awesome. Okay, we just hit 45. So I think now we can pick uh, our second our second class here. So I think we're gonna go for this one. Arba. Oh, these do require a crossbow. Okay. We gotta level up our crossbow. Okay, let's try it out. All my skills work with the crossbow, so... But we need a different secondary weapon with the uh, with the crossbow. What is she doing? Is actually to destroy that? Oh, we do. We got trapped into the circle. So yeah, we gotta pull mobs into the circle. And then kill them. There's more mobs here somewhere. Pull a, a little bit bigger stack. Ooh, what's that? That's a summoner. Like you can have like a massive uh, pet as a summoner. Hey, we got it. Nice. Okay, we got the salamander, the fire boss. 469,000 HP on this guy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, it's getting pretty tanky. Not bad. It's actually getting much better with these boss fights. Like, you're not just completely face rolling them now, which is kind of nice. Let's have a quick visit in Clopeda. Gonna get my secondary weapon. So I think I put it into my bank. So the shield is with the crossbow. Okay. Or you can use the dagger. Like the dagger. Let's use that. And we got the dagger to plus 20. Oh, it gives you quite a bit of uh, damage, actually. There's a challenge mode portal. That's like the endgame stuff. Oh, well, what do you end up farming in endgame? Because I remember farming those. Oh, we get to kill a boss. Our corn. Okay. Let's go. Pretty easy boss. I have so many skills to use too, which is kind of nice. This one is pretty good. With the triple stacks. I quite like it. Oh, it's an elite. Well, looks like it's dead. I thought elite would be a bit harder, but I was wrong. Ha 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 ha! Oh, she protected me. Thank you. We gotta go to the mage tower four now. Magic stabilizer, stabilizing device. And okay, we gotta defeat the monsters. Oh, they even tell you when people get like costumes. Wow, that's the way to uh, tease me, try to make me buy the costumes. Oh, this guy got a costume, I have to buy one too. Oh, the temptations. Oh, I love the games where you can have your own picture as like a guild icon. Like these guys have the uh, Twitch emote, really cool. Ah, here's the final, final boss. Feels like a fight already, that's nice. Still easy, but like, at least you get to use your skills on him. It's not just a one-shotting 
with the bird. Nice. Got the quest line done. Okay, we gotta find Hilka Circle. Who is this gonna be the final boss of the quest line? It looks like a final boss for the quest line. Yep. Most likely. Whoa, he tanky. Finally, we got a real boss. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm actually dying! Oh, wow, that's crazy. That was close. That was, that was a good boss fight. I like it. And we got it done. That was episode 5. 